Point of care ultrasound is the simplification of ultrasound technology from a machine that would take up an entire room to one of these portable machines that we can wheel to a patient's bedside and get much better information than our physical exam allows us and provide more accurate and targeted care at the bedside. Take a look. You can look at the picture with me, okay? Okay, so your skin's up here. Oh yeah. These are some of your muscles here. And you know what that thing there is, this big dark thing? No. That's your bladder. That's all your pee. Oh. So this is how it sees inside. That's so cool. Isn't it? It's changing our care in a number of ways. Well, as emergency physicians, our main role is to make sure we never miss a really dangerous problem presenting to the ER. And the problem in pediatrics is many of those dangerous problems, the patient will look very similar to uh, a benign problem. Uh, a perforated appendicitis can look a lot like just a stomach flu. And the way in which we decide which patients need lengthy and expensive testing is usually with a combination of looking at them with our eyes and feeling them with our fingers and listening to them with our stethoscope. And we've just found that supplementing that with the ability to actually look inside is providing us much better, faster information. Point of care ultrasound is actually improving the patient, patient care in many ways, um, including you know, patient efficiency towards diagnosis, making quick decisions at the bedside, performing some exams that traditionally children are very scared of or were unable to obtain because they're uncooperative due to their developmental age. A good example of that would be something like fundoscopy where we are trying to look at the back of the eye to see if there's swelling at the back of the nerve. You need a patient that is very still and able to keep their eye open for you know, a good length of time in, the, in a busy emergency department. And now with the technology of point of care ultrasound, we're able to just put a transducer right over the eye and obtain the same information in a matter of minutes, um, causing no pain to the patient and very easy to get the child to cooperate. I don't know what, what you're thinking. Yeah, there. You yeah. see. Contour. Contour is Contour better there, right. yeah. Uh, for me personally, I think Perfect. there's uh, several ways to think about it. We talk about something called cognitive load, and that is when a physician is in a situation where they're thinking about multiple patients. Point of care ultrasound really helps us focus in on a diagnosis and therefore we can just move on to the next patient and not worry about what's going on with the, the last patient we saw. The other thing that I find it's been very helpful for is something called cognitive bias where you know we maybe transferred a patient or someone tells us a diagnosis for a patient and not everything fits together that well but we are stuck on one diagnosis because it's been suggested. For example, we had a child recently come in with a severe respiratory illness, or that's what everybody thought. And uh, because not everything fit in together in the history and the physical examination of the child, we brought in the point of care ultrasound machine, and we did a quick scan of the lungs and the heart and found out that this was actually a, a baby with a congenital heart problem. And that completely changed the course of treatment for the child. And previously, before using ultrasound, this may have been a diagnosis that's missed or at least delayed by several hours or days before it was discovered and, the, and before the child would get the optimal treatment. A lot of us have found since we've started to use point of care ultrasound that we're using this machine a lot more than we're using this just because of the quality of information that we get out of it. Our initial research is really showing that the information that we get by visualizing internal organs is much more useful than the sounds we get transmitted through the body with a stethoscope, leading us to really start referring to this as the stethoscope of the future, especially as these machines begin to shrink even more. This was as portable as they got when I started to use them, and now we're seeing them show up in the size of a cell phone. But I never saw what's inside me before. I know, right? Never, ever, ever. So how about for a special okay. treat, because you're being so nice, do you want to take a look at your heart? Yeah. So there's really great uh, evidence uh, and really great research done from adult emergency departments showing that uh, you can really save time and cost, that you can target care better, that you can do what we call tailoring downstream care, eliminating unnecessary tests, getting to diagnoses faster, and limiting the amount of time that patients stay in the emergency department. And that's for a variety of different problems. And we're just at the beginning of being able to find what those applications are in pediatrics that are gonna make for more targeted testing and a shorter length of stay for children and their families coming to our emergency department.